Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Just want to bring a wonderful, short Christmas message that the Lord has given to me today to encourage us all. And in Luke 2, verse 11, it says, Today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. <clears throat> and this is a wonderful, wonderful message because you could have say in the city of anywhere, but you say in the city of David. And David really represents the one who has taken the head of the giant. He has slain the giant. He has slain that one who was having the people of Israel under fear, um, under mockery, really was having them trembling in their boots. But David conquered a giant. And so this is showing that he's born in the city of David, a descendant of David is born, who will conquer a greater giant. And it says, a savior has been born to us. You know, for a lot of us, it's Christmas time, you know, we miss the meaning of Christmas. We miss the fact that it is a Savior that has been born to us. It's not just a baby that has been born to us. Yes, he was a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, but he's a Savior born to us to conquer the giant. The giant called sin, the giant um, called Lucifer. Jesus was born to conquer him. Now, in Genesis 3, um, God told the woman, which is Eve, that, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman um, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall crush thy head and you shall bruise or crush his heel. Now, I've read this scripture many times and I thought the, the full thing was talking about Jesus Christ alone, the, 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 the seed of the woman. But it says it. And when I saw the word it, I was a bit confused. I was like, why are they labeling Jesus as it? Why is the Bible calling it? And the Holy, the Holy Spirit was showing me that the enemy will crush Jesus' heel but he's when he's mentioning it he is mentioning the church he's talking about the descendant of jesus we who will be born of christ will be the ones that crush the enemy's head and that's a wonderful thing that the enemy yes he come after the heel he come out the foot and what does the foot represent the foot represent the gospel of peace it's a great pause, a grace and peace be with you. Jesus said, fit your feet with the readiness that come from the gospel of peace. So the feet is representative of the gospel. Yes, the enemy came and he come at the gospel. And he will always come at the gospel of grace. But one thing the Lord said, that we the church, with the gospel of grace, which represents the feet, will always crush Satan's head. And that is a wonderful message that we have a Savior, not, not, not only that he can save us from sin, but he also give us the power to crush sin under our feet, to use this gospel, this message that he brought to us to crush the enemy under our feet. And that's why he says in Romans 16 verse 20, for the God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet the grace of our lord jesus christ be with you you see from the moment we fully understand the gospel of grace the moment we fully arm ourselves fit our feet with the readiness that come from this gospel of grace which is peace the more we are crushing the more satan is being crushed under our feet by god it's not we don't have to try to do we don't have to muster up our own power to try to crush the enemy and our feet. All we have to do, God says, fit your feet with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. And your feet is equipped enough, like a hammer, 
for me to use it and crush the enemy under feet under your feet and so that's a wonderful message to know that we have such a wonderful gospel we have a savior that has been born to us that also equipped us to be able to stand and fight even when he is gone he equips our feet now when you look at in john 8 verse 10 it says when jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman he said unto her woman where are those thine accusers have no man condemned thee she said no man lord and jesus said unto her neither do i condemn thee go and sin no more and in romans 8 verse 1 it says therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in christ jesus and this is a wonderful message that jesus our savior he came to also to save us from sin but the penalty of sin the condemnation that that sins bring because once people sin um they are condemned they were condemned and they're condemned to death and that is what that woman was facing at the time she was condemned to be stoned and to die but jesus who is a savior that have been born unto her on that day gladly for her he was born in that time because otherwise she would have been stoned and she would have died in her sin because legally the law required it but because a savior was born to her that day in her time she was able to receive no condemnation she was able to receive salvation but more so jesus was able to now give her equip her to go and sin no more basically she now had the power to crush satan under her feet and if you look at the life of mary who is always found at jesus feet somehow washing his feet with with her tears and oil and wiping it with her hair and lazarus resurrection um, pouring out oil on him before he was be burial pouring oil on, him, on his feet she's always there at the feet of jesus learning at his feet when martha was saying let her come and and um help me but she was always at his feet because she understood that he is truly a savior and is under her feet that jesus is constantly crushing sin those strongholds in her life and so i want us all to rejoice today that we don't just have um, a baby that have been born to us but we have a savior for he saves us from our sins and not only does he save us you know because somebody can rescue you know they can rescue you from something but that thing still has power over you and that or that person can still defeat you but when you're not only rescued from that person but you you're equipped to defeat that person that is totally something different and that is what the lord said the god of peace will soon cross satan underneath your feet it is through the gospel of grace and peace that the lord is constantly crushing the head of satan under its feet under the feet of the church the bride of christ yes satan attack jesus he attacked the gospel he attacked the message that jesus brought but through us the lord is using that same message to crush his head be encouraged today celebrate the season but always be mindful of this wonderful message <clears throat> that we have a savior that have been born to us and we are saved from our sins and we have been equipped by the grace of god the peace of god that god can use it to crush the enemy under our feet merry christmas and have a wonderful new year Thank you, Lord.